Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. with Reverts here, and today I got some tips for the trip mine in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And I'm also going to show you guys how to survive the trip mine if you happen to trigger it. So, on screen is the horizontal trigger radius for the trip mine. As you can see, it's fairly easy to avoid. Really, all you have to do is run straight through it. And for the vertical trigger radius, it's also very easy to avoid. All you have to do is crouch once, and you won't take any damage. So, whenever you hear the trigger go off, all you have to do is simply crouch or keep on running to avoid from taking damage from the trip mine. Or you can either run the perks flak jacket, which will decrease the damage from explosives, and hardwired, which will even trigger the trip mine so you can either do one of those multiple things but really they're better perks to use so in case you don't want to burn a, uh, a custom class slot you can either keep on running or crouch that's what I prefer to do but if I'm gonna be playing a search and destroy game or a TDM game really flak jacket isn't all that necessary so um, but like I said mainly for game modes like domination or hard point maybe safeguard is really when you should use flak jacket but uh, like I said there's better uh, perks to use so flak jacket really isn't all that necessary really I prefer to just run straight through the trip miner or, or uh, crouch one so uh, if you're looking to get more kills with the trip mine, try placing it on top of a ceiling on, inside of a building because, you know, not a lot of players are going to notice a trip mine there. And also, it's a lot harder to survive it because you can't really do uh, the crouch method. All you have to do is run straight through it, which could uh, lead the enemy player into a spot where your team might be set up at. Also, I recommend planting the trip mine inside of a body. Now, this may seem a little unorthodox, but uh, if there's an area on the map where uh, you know a lot of bodies are going to be piling up at, so like maybe a hard point or B domination would be an ideal location. But the reason why is because it's a lot harder to see the trip mine that are inside body so on screen now is the gameplay of it like as you can see you can't really see the trip mine itself all you can see is the light but as a Call of Duty player I really wouldn't uh, you know see that light coming out of a body because I'm going to be focused on playing the objective and uh, anyone that might be in front of me so I'm not going to be all too focused on a light coming out of a body so uh, this is a very tactical placement of the trip mine on screen now and then you can see I'm getting a, a couple of kills like this so there can be some pretty creative placements for the trip mine uh, also the trip mine can be very useful for a safeguard and I don't really see a lot of players use the trip mine is safeguard. I, I don't know why because uh, everyone should at least run one trip mine and the reason why is because the trip mine does the same amount of damage to the robot as a black cell or the XM53 would do. And I see those two weapons used a lot for safeguard to disable the robot. Uh, but with the trip mine I recommend throwing it down at the robot's feet because that way you might get a couple kills uh, from the enemies that are escorting the robot. So uh, those are my tips for the trip mine. If you guys enjoyed drop a like and comment all your thoughts. Thank you for watching. I'm Reverts. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time. I'll catch you guys later. Now one more thing guys before I go. Uh, I'm sorry for this short little commentary but I really want to say thank you guys so much for the constant support that you guys have been showing me because I've been getting a lot of comments recently saying that I'm so underrated and that I deserve more subs and all that kind of uh, good stuff that I like to hear so again I really appreciate that guys it, it really is motivating to uh, to hear that kind of stuff as a YouTuber any YouTuber that hears uh, that actually reads those comments is uh, really motivating so thank you guys so much for that also I want to say that I'm going to be uploading every Monday through Friday from now on it's uh, going to be a little bit difficult for me because because I do have college and uh, sports and whatnot. So, uh, but I'm going to try it for you guys because I noticed that I had a spike in subs and views when I uploaded from uh, Tuesday through Friday. So I'm going to try to upload Monday through Friday uh, starting this week. So uh, be on the lookout for new videos, guys. This is my final goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Averts, and I'll catch you all later.